Kevin Green joins us for a little streaming update. Paramount, what's the latest here, Kevin? Well, the stock is actually sliding starting the uh, week here. It's down about 3.1% at the last time that I actually looked at it here. But we are actually continuing to get some news reports out that have not been confirmed that National Amusement is actually reportedly, reportedly looking to actually sell its controlling stake in Paramount to Skydance here. Now, this is going to be a very big deal if this does go through. National Amusement owns around 77% of all controlling shares of Paramount. And we are also potentially going to see a little bit of a shakeup when it comes to the streaming business and the broadcast business as a whole. Now, City is actually valuating the company here when I'm talking about Paramount that it could actually be valued at around $38 per share. But that's if your assets are sold piece by piece here. And we are continuing to see some analysts update their price targets here and updating them to around $15 a share. That might be the reason why we are seeing the stock slide here a little bit. But we have not had a confirmation from Paramount nor Skydance at this point in time. It's just uh, kind of an indication that we continue to see a little bit of headwinds when it comes to the streaming space, when it comes to the movie space in general. And now we might start seeing a little bit more uh, activity when it comes to mergers and acquisitions. Okay. Uh, I like this story because, you know, let's get it going. You know, like I feel like there's, uh, it's been such a disparate kind of like, uh, so many players in the uh, streaming world, there's not a lot of profitability to be found still. Like someone's got to shake this up to the next degree, right? The streamers shook up and broke down traditional cable. Now we got to shake up the streaming world. Well, it seems like we're shaking up the streaming world to go kind of back to the cable model. That's the unfortunate situation <laughs> that we have here, Oliver, because now a lot of consumers may have three, four, even five different streaming services. And if you kind of add that up, it adds up to a cable bill. So I think that's probably also what we are seeing right now. And then also the content creators, the companies like HBO Max or what have you here, they're actually getting a little bit more aggressive when it comes to licensing out their content to other providers to be able to provide a little bit more revenue. We might also see that type of uh, situation happening in the streaming world as well, and maybe not having so much of this silo type of uh, environment when it comes to a lot of these content producers. So I think that's kind of where we are at right now. Uh, overall, obviously, Netflix continues to command this space, but there is a fair amount of players that really want to be able to try to you know, excel over the long term. And if unfortunately, they might not be able to do it by themselves. They may have to start partnering up or even getting acquired in order to try to be a little bit more successful. Okay, so right now shares slipping on it, but it's been a pretty nice bounce up off the lows. Ten dollars and fifty cents on earnings. What do you think uh, we look for next? Uh, commentary from analysts, sell side. I mean, the fact that they're uh, beginning with the downgrade here, uh, you know, it seems to be at odds a little bit with the way the market has moved around the news. Yeah, this is, would be the, one of the unfortunate situations if you are a shareholder in Paramount because you had this nice little bid because of the rumor, but a lot of these analysts are coming in and putting on price targets that are actually a little bit lower than what the stock is trading at right now. And that's going to probably provide a little bit of uneasiness when you're looking at takeout targets or those that are trying to take out this name, especially when you're looking at national immunes or when you're looking at Skydance here. So if they're coming out and saying, okay, a lot of analysts believe that this stock should be actually priced a little bit lower, how much of a premium can we add to be able to take this name out and i think that's going to be the big question i think that's why we're also seeing this a little bit of a sell-off in today's session okay yeah definitely a bit of a reversal but still uh net trending and higher off the lows and uh, i guess everything gets overextended right that's what makes a market you know it uh, goes one way until it goes too far and then you gotta go the other so the streaming rsi just got too hot the whole streaming world Relative strength just went through the roof, and now we're, we're normalizing again and getting a little uh, repackaging. Thanks, Kevin Green, for the perspective.